Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crystal and Light. My name is Charlotte. Well, thanks for being here. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. This is an energy reading. That's how we're doing it this May. I am just decided to do energy readings for each sign since we have like amazing retrogrades, to say the least. Uh, we have four of them now, Jupiter, Pluto, Saturn, and Venus in retrograde. Mercury is about to go retrograde. So is Neptune in the upcoming months. So Libra, so how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are okay. So we had a super full moon in uh, Scorpio, which was amazing, very powerful, okay? Uh, especially for water signs, obviously. Uh, Scorpio is your second house. So it was on May 7th, so you might have felt the energies. Um, second house is all about your assets, uh, what nurtures you, what you value, what makes you feel good. It could be, um, you know, the food you like, uh, maybe you like art, your investments, you know, what you invest money in, what is of value to you, basically. Now, with the Scorpio full moon, you might have either felt like you've spent a little bit too much money, maybe you've um, spent money on something that you definitely didn't need, right, and it kind of hit your finances. Something to do with money. You might have uh, overspent on something. Could be money or energy, all right? Now, uh, Sagittarius is your third house. We have the South Node there, and we have the North Node in Gemini, your ninth house. So, your South Node is pretty much your past life energy. It's what you've learned, you know, you've gone through that already. It's your past karma. So, it's in Sagittarius. So, and it's your third house. So, I feel like um, maybe in your past life you were very anxious. You were very um, stubborn on your, you know, and like really dogmatic. Like you really believe what you believe. It was hard to deter you from that. You kind of thought you knew all the answers. You might have these traits coming up still because we tend to, you know, repeat those past lives, uh, behaviors because it's what we know. So it's, you know, it's anchored in us. But now the game, the goal is to move more towards your North Node energy which is Gemini, right? So see, it's like a mirroring effect. Sagittarius, the ninth house, is your south node. And it's their third house. And then you have your north node in Gemini, which is your ninth house, which is really the third house normally. You know, there's a mirroring effect here. So you might have a hard time. It might be a push and pull effect. You might be really indecisive right now. You might be really confused. Um, like thinking you want something one minute and then one minute you don't want it. So be careful with uh, impulsive purchases and think before you speak, okay? Because you're kind of like going like this right now. You need balance. You need to balance yourself. Let's say you're really off balance now. So pay attention to how you act, how you speak, and um, what you invest your time and your money into Libra because you guys are off balance you're the balance you're Libra you're represented by the scales you're normally balanced but right now mm, things are not the way they used to be there's something off you feel it it's making you uncomfortable for sure it's making you act out of character or it could make you act out of character so watch out for that now we have Capricorn in your fourth house where we have Pluto and Jupiter retrograde roots foundations fourth house but then Capricorn again more roots more foundations and we have Pluto and Jupiter retrograde there Pluto is the planet of death it rules Scorpio right the death and rebirth going in the underworld and healing emotionally psychologically and emerging as the Phoenix we have Jupiter the planet of expansion which is the ruler of Sagittarius which is your south node so but Jupiter's in retrograde so Jupiter is really trying to show you Pluto as well it's like you are being shook right now to change paths and just to trust and surrender and to not question it to not run away from it because it doesn't look like what you're used to because it's uncomfortable but to just trust that you are being redirected on the path you are supposed to be right at this moment even in this lifetime north node destiny okay aquarius your fifth house saturn retrograde fifth house your passions like i said 
Aquarius, how you show up to the world, your social environment. Maybe you've had relationships that you've been hang hanging on to um, that no longer resonate with you, right? Because you're all about relationships. You're Libra. You're about relationships, love. This could be about love. You've definitely discovered something that you were used to, that you were comfortable with, is no longer comfortable. And now it's being put in front of you for you to acknowledge that and to move on from it or reform it in order for it to be mm -hmm. um, in alignment with where you are right now. Because when things arise, arise um, questions, doubts, and stuff like that, there is a reason. It comes from somewhere. You know, It's just not out of the blue. There's a hidden message behind that. You have to go investigate that Scorpio style. You know, Go deep so you can rebirth and you can move on on a new path that is in symbiosis with your desires, your need, and your wish fulfillment. All right? That's Saturn retrograde in Aquarius for you, your fifth house. Your passions, fifth house, love. So what moves you? What, what do you love, right? Um, and then we have Pisces in your sixth house, sixth house of service and health. We have Neptune and Mars there. Like I said, you, you, like one minute you're, 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 you might want to act on something or think you know the answer. But it's Neptune is in your sixth house. Neptune is smoke and mirrors. You never know with Neptune. What we think is, is not. So do not act impulsively into jumping and um, like just uh, obliging the relationships that are around you or that are, you are in just because it's what you've been doing. You, might, you feel resistance because there's a reason why you feel resistance. It's because it's not, there's something that's off. And... Um, you might want to just keep doing what you did before, but you're going to feel it in your body, in your core, that something is not right. That's Mars and Neptune in your sixth house of Pisces. Okay, so for you, really be careful, Libra. Something is changing and it's nudging at you for you to acknowledge it. Then we have Taurus in your eighth house. We have Uranus there and the sun. Uranus is the revolutionary planet. Okay. It is. And Taurus is the planet, again, of assets. But for you, it's your eighth house. So assets, money, other people's money. Okay. Um, finances, just like hidden resources as well. Um, wanting to spend. I feel like you're, you're, you're very, because you don't understand what's going on. There's this urge that comes over you. And it's just, it's almost like a test. It's like a temptation. It's a t there's a temptation around you. I don't know why I'm feeling this energy. A temptation could be anything. You wanting to buy something, but then you're going to find out you just spent your money or it was a hack or it was they stole your credit card information or it was just... It was a hoax, you know? And um, investments, watch out. Um... Even you being sucked in uh, into um, influence into doing something, you know, because somebody said, oh, this will be great, you know, and you're a people pleaser. So, you you know, no, Libra, it's like, I feel like you have to be careful. Don't do something you will regret later. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Because the sun is there and Uranus as well. And the sun is about to enter Gemini, and that's when you're going to find out what a big mistake. Because Gemini is all about the mind, clarity, facts. And Gemini is your ninth house. So it's going to show you where you've overdone it, where you believe something that was not real, Neptune, okay, in your uh, sixth house. Where have you given to please somebody when you knew it was crap, pretty much, okay? I'm hearing loud and clear be careful before you regret it. Because we have Venus retrograde there and Mercury in your ninth house. So again, Venus, planet of love, ruler of Taurus, your eighth house. Um, and Mercury, ruler of Gemini, your ninth house. So it's like all about this. Where are you, like, where are you going above your means? Energetically, monetarily, emotionally. Where are you overspending? Energy, emotion, money. What are you overspending? Watch out before you regret it. Okay? All right. Let's get some tarot here for you guys. Mm, I hear that clearly. 
Watch out before you regret it. Think before you regret it, okay? You might regret it. So, let's see. This is a good tarot by Colette Baron reed Since we have retrogrades, it's very heavy energy. We're going to get some good tarot, which is very soothing, smooth, and just uh, soft and calm, let's say. Uh, don't go out of your way. I'm hearing Libra. Do not go out of your way to people, please. Especially when you know. Listen to your intuition. You're very, your air energy. So use that Gemini North Node to your advantage. You know, your sister sign. Plus Mercury there too. So it, it's calling for you to really think things through before you regret that. Regret it just because you want to make... The intention is noble, right? You want to please someone, you know, you always want to. You're the mediator, but it might take a toll later. You, you, you know, you might just find out, find out that it, you end up, you know, having a lot on your hands to deal with that you could have things you could have avoided. One more card, spirit for Jim, for Libra. Sorry. One more card. Retrogrades. We got two more, okay. Let's see, Libra. So we have the Hermit, nine. Yeah. Think about it. Think about it. Go within and ask yourself, am I making the right decision? Okay, this is reevaluation and taking time to see the truth of a situation. Seven of Pentacles, working hard, putting your energy into something over and over and over again. Justice, your card, Libra, you're appearing here, so it's calling for you to act, do not act out of character. Don't go out of your way just to, oops, to please someone and deplete yourself, okay? Judgment. You have to have a good judgment here. You have to use your air energy, your mental, and your wisdom to make the right decision. Am I just investing in something over and over again with no result? Am I willing to invest in something that's not going to bring me anything but problems? But that's not like uh, fruitful, okay? Where have I been investing, 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 and no, I have no results, right? Because then you have the moon, Pisces energy. You have three major arcanas. This is a big shift of your ways, Libra. Spirit is realigning you. Because then you have the two of water. This is a relationship close to you. Um, somebody, a soulmate. Yeah, somebody you really care for. But guess what? It doesn't mean you have to sacrifice, you know, yourself you know don't go i get out of your way if it's something that is not in alignment with you the justice card and that you've been investing in a lot it's time you be fair to yourself okay because then we have the tower it's going to blow up in your face by wanting to accommodate and um just entertain and wanting to show your love and appreciation it will backfire on you you are going to regret it in the end. Because then you have the nine of air. There you go. Sleepless night, worry, anxiety. Just too much energy. Look at this. These cards came after each other. We have the two of cups, then we have the tower, and then we have the nine of air. Guys, something's coming up here. And don't do it. You're going to regret it. Don't do it. Libra. I don't know what it is. Okay. Two of water. This is someone you care for. I know. You really deeply care for them, but don't do it. I know you care, but don't do it. The tower and the nine of air. That's some heavy energy over there. And the tower is like a, a shock. It's It comes, but it's to make you grow and evolve. So, it's like even if you do it, you will learn from it. Because, oh, I forgot. The moon is secrets, revelations. 
So look at this, the tower, two revelations, but revelations that are not easy, harsh revelations, okay? So you're gonna, you know, it's like even if you go through it, you're gonna make it harder. So you can catch it before it happens, okay? Catch it before it happens. You know, this is some harsh truth here. I know you love this person, but whoever it may be, but hmm, harsh revelations here, okay? Be careful, and they're going to create anxiety, nine of swords. It's just, it's heavy energy here, Libra. You're, you're, it's a test. It's a test of like, you know, always wanting to please everyone. It's, it's going to backfire now. Because it's a test. Spirit wants to teach you something. That you no longer can be doing that. Because I feel like a lot of you have been doing it over and over and over and over again. And now, you know, Spirit's going to bring this tower in. You can avoid it. That's why we read tarot to get some advice. You know, to, if we can avoid things or better handle them, right? Here I'm telling you, uh, this is an unavoidable. I think this is happening. Um, you're going to have to use your judgment, your wisdom, and, uh, and be really balanced in your decision and really look at objectively and honestly the situation and, you know, and admit to yourself that, yes, you care, you want to do good, you want to people please, you want to be there for this person, okay? I feel like it's one person. But it's just going to blow up in your face in the end. And you're not even doing them any good to them. Because I feel like it's like you've been doing this over. It's a cycle. And all these retrogrades are trying to change um, this um, merry-go-round for you. And finally, for you to break the chain, you know. And just like learn to say no. All right. Okay, what do we have? We have the Animal Spirit here by Colette Van Reed for you. Let's see. Truth transcends illusion. Yeah? What's the truth? you got to be true to yourself. You know what this is. You know where you have been giving. You know where you have been complacent. You know where you have been, like, sacrificing over and over again. Seven of Pentacles. It's time you reset and, like, be true to yourself. Stand in your power. Justice card. Your card. Libra. And... Come from a place of wisdom and just like explain, especially if they're asking for your help, you have a right to say no because this is not viable. That <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Speak your truth. <coughs> you see? You have to. This this is no, I'm not gonna do this because I'm sorry it's gonna have repercussions. Repercussions. And you don't seem to care because you just want what you want, they, right? But this is going to have repercussions on my finances, on my energetic body, on my emotional body, on my life, on whatever. If it's your couple, it's like you both are in this together. So it's like we're a couple. We make decisions together. Speak your truth from a place of wisdom and stand up for yourself, Libra. Okay? Definitely. Truth and justice. Balance. Bring back the balance. Um, I don't want to say you've been taken advantage of, but you, you let yourself be taken advantage of, pretty much. That's what I want to say. Okay, and you might discover that, you know, somebody has been, you know, um, a spouse or somebody, this two of cups, whatever this relationship is, it's a, it's a, it's a good relationship, but you haven't set the boundaries. And now it's just like, you're going to discover that you should have set the boundaries a long time ago. And I feel like you're going to find out that they've been spending money or behind your back, not stealing, but they didn't tell you, you know, or making purchases behind your back. And you lost something. You lost something. You're going to find out that you lost something. And Spirit is bringing this in so you can, like, you know, set back the scales here. Take back your power. All right? Okay, let's get some uh, astrological cards. These are, this is a numinous astro deck. I just have the planets here and the aspects. I took out the house cards and the signs. It's that's a lot. I feel like, yeah, you're going to find out something did something behind your back. 
they're dead. The moon card, truth, transcendent, the tower, nine of air. Something did some, someone did something behind your back because you were not vigilant and because you trusted them too much. And, um, and this is, your, it, yeah, you're going to have to set the boundaries and set it straight and stand up and put your foot down because it's going to create an unbalance. It's, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to have an impact. It's not something small here. This is something, and I think they've been doing small things and you've been brushing it off, but this is big here. This is going to have to, you're going to have to have to talk. Neptune, smoking mirrors, yes, you're going to have to have to talk here. I told you guys. And then <clears throat> Neptune is in Pisces, your sixth house. It's like your service, you know. Like I told you, you've been helping someone or somebody um, you really trusted, you care about has taken advantage of your kindness behind your back and you're about to find out with the moon card you are about to find out yeah and it's not going to be pretty whatever they did you're going to be disappointed definitely you're going to be hurt you're going to be disappointed look at all these cards Neptune, the moon, true transcends illusion. It's crazy. Right? Neptune, the moon, true transcends illusion. Something's coming out. Secrets. Not even secrets. It's like. Something that's, it's not even secret. It's like. Lies. Manipulation. Mm. Somebody was doing something behind your back and you're about to find out, Libra. You're going to be very disappointed. Hurt, disappointed. So you really care about this person. All right, let's get some more planet cards. Okay, these are not a lot, so I'm going to do this. Because these, this deck, you have the planet cards, the house cards, and the sign cards. But I'm just going to use the planet cards. See, again, what planet is more prominent here for you guys Libra Jupiter expansion and <laughs> Jupiter's retrograde in Capricorn narrowing it down showing the light on where we've been like overdoing it and being overly like uh, um, optimistic you know your confidence courage self-belief and luck Yes, this is going to throw you off of your balance. <laughs> it's going to make you feel like, you know, you can't trust this person anymore. Whoever this is that did this behind your back, you know, it's gonna, you're going to take a hit to your ego. Not to your ego, your heart. You really care about this person. Two of Cups, you do. But they did dirty. They did something dirty behind your back. They, 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 take a, they took advantage of you, of your kindness. And it has to do with money. This, there's money involved here. Definitely money. And this is not the time to be spending money with these retrogrades. Jeez. They might even come up and tell you, too, with Venus retrograde. They might just, yeah. That would be the best thing. It, it will lessen, lessen the, the, how do you say this? It would lessen the, the the, 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 how bad this is, you know, because it, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, did somebody broke your trust? Basically, they broke your trust. So them coming forth and saying it before you discover it would be a great thing. So they might be even telling it to you. I mean, always be, have compassion, but that doesn't mean you have to let it go, right? Let it just slide. This is, this is great. This is really, really big. This is like, somebody breaking your trust like this, especially when money's involved like that. That's like, that's bad. Look at this. Balance. You have two times justice card, your card, balance. And again, see the bogey stones? They're two stones. This is someone that's very close to you, your spouse or something. Okay? Healthy body. Okay, let me get, let me see what's at the bottom of the deck. Emotional healing. I don't know. Healthy body. Maybe they're dealing with some issues, and but that does not excuse it. Um, this is somebody who's 
they didn't do it maliciously i think they have issues definitely have issues emotional issues emotional healing to 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 do and they probably compensated by maybe overspending and taking it in the bank account your common bank account um, and, um, it doesn't excuse it though, but be gentle with them, obviously, but you have to stand your ground and, and just like stand up for yourself. And <clears throat> they, there's, there's somebody who doesn't have confidence that, 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 that doesn't believe in themselves anymore, that <clears throat> has some emotional issues somehow. And maybe, yeah, obviously they didn't tell you anything. You might've noticed that they were a little bit depressed, but they've been kind of off. Maybe you couldn't put your finger on why, but you're about to find out. Because I think they've been like, um, how do you say it? You know when you're depressed or something and you're just shopping just to fill something, you know? Shopaholic. It's just com compensating for some emotional, um, uh, some emotional imbalance, you know, with shopping. This is what I'm feeling here. And it's, it's coming out. It's coming out. All right. Let's get a sacred destiny. Oh, I, was, I want to get a wisdom oracle. Let's get a wisdom oracle. Wow. Libra. This is intense. Now, this person does not, <clears throat> is not okay emotionally. They might have some <sighs> issues with their health issues, whether it's emotional physical, mental, even, they're not balanced, they're not, I'm not saying they're crazy or whatever, you know, but right now, they're not in a good place, they're not okay, if it's your spouse or whatever, they might be battling depression or something like that, self-worth issues, <clears throat> there's some emotional healing that uh, has to be, take place here, but emotional healing doesn't mean that you have to um, forgive, just forgive, and just say, oh, I know, oh, poor baby, you know, because really, you really care about this person, but um, put your foot down, and then get the help you need, you know, for the, for them, or be there for them, and try to, like, just be present, right? Yeah, be present, just be present, don't, you know, <coughs> look at the situation, how it unfolds, Maybe you have been doing this. You know something was off, but you kept on being like, okay, something's off, but I don't know what. And you were just like an observer, and you were like, okay, whatever, it's all in my head. You were busy doing your own thing, you know. And you were just observing, and, and it just like, well, it's about to hit you now, okay? It is. It's about to hit you now. This card observes like watch and see, but yeah, you've been watching this card unfold and now here it goes the catastrophe tower you were standing by as an observer you were just like maybe you knew something was up but you couldn't put your finger on it and you didn't think it was as serious or maybe you didn't see anything you know at all meanwhile it was happening all in front of you in your face you know this person has self-confidence issues <coughs> but um you're finding out something here. The tower and the moon. And it's something that's going to change um, your perspective, observer. It's going to change the way you look at things. It's going to change the dynamic of the relationship, for better or for worse. Okay, either, yeah, for better or for worse. That's your choice. Because the truth is coming out here. Truth transcends illusion and the moon. And then look at this. We have two, two, two. Cup two of water. Two of cups and two, two, two. Yeah, this is some. This is a relationship. This is your significant other. I don't know, spouse, whatever. It's significant. This is a relationship here, for sure. <sighs> yeah. Two nines. The moon is a nine. Nine of swords. Three major. No, wait a minute. Four major arcanas. The hermit, justice, the moon, and the tower. Four. This is a major shift here. The what the veil is being lifted off of your eyes right now. You are over there sitting observing, dreaming. I don't know what daydreaming. Well, here you go. It's about to hit your tower. Sorry to tell you, but that's what's happening here. You're gonna be shocked. You're gonna be surprised or not. Or you're gonna finally understand <clears throat> what was going on. Because the truth is coming out. 
the truth is coming out and it's not pretty look at this the truth is coming out and it's not pretty yep the truth is coming out and it's not pretty libra nope no 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 okay the truth is coming out and it's not pretty let me just say that yeah libra sorry about that <coughs> but better late than never no i said that before in the beginning better late than never things happen in our life so we can like evolve anyway and it kind of, that's the way life works. Everything that happens is to shift us even more towards our destiny, our North Node. Which the North Node is in Gemini, remember. And Gemini is your ninth house. Which is a lot of hermit energy there. Wisdom. It's to make you grow, make you wiser, and make you more alert. Okay. But you are appearing in your reading, so definitely this is something that is meant, it's divinely guided. It's hard. It's not, it's a shock. It's a shock. It's not, it's just, it's not comfortable, let me tell you, it, because it's, it's a disappointment. You're disappointed. It's, you're disappointed. It's abuse of um, trust. It's like a, somebody broke your trust. They did. They did. You're disappointed, you know, very, very sad even. It makes you anxious, nine of swords. This is gonna be okay, okay? All right, I love you guys. Thanks Libras, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I have an Instagram now for my channel. I will link it below, check that out, bye.